Cheeseland sent us Coco's cheese. The mothers of all cheese. I don't know if it's the world's first, but it is the best and only coconut cheese that I have ever tasted. It's really wild. People taste it at parties and they're like, they take a bite and they're like, what is going on? And they take another bite. And you know, with expensive cheeses, even though they cost a lot of money, you don't need very much. You take a little sliver of this stuff, you savor it, you enjoy it. Everything works out, everyone's happy. So the cool thing is, you know, you can go out and buy bowls and then have to clean them and like, you know, do all that stuff, do the dishes, or you can make bowls that you can eat. So all you do is you take a muffin tin like this. If you don't have a muffin tin, you figure it out, you'd be creative, you'll make it work. But muffin tin flipped over, pop tortillas. These are kind of like medium-sized tortillas in there. Like, sure. You just gotta push it down a little push bit. Push it down. And then you get that oven going at 350. All right, now there are other steps to this recipe, and what Mike is gonna do is marinate the chicken. So just cut up the chicken. I want you to trim it, Mike. Now, typically with chicken thigh, you keep it whole, you marinate it for a while, you cook it up, but we're gonna do the old quick way. Just, the thing about this is it's gonna cook your chicken real fast. It's gonna get all the flavor in there. A little standard pepper, like everybody likes. Lime, salt, pepper, and love juice. Mix it around. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. Now you let that sit as long as it takes to make the rest of the stuff. Next step, now that we've got the chicken marinated, we need to make the rice. Now normally when people make rice, Mike, what do they do? They put some water into the rice. They add a little bit of salt and pepper, and they say, eat this. And you're like, no, I don't want to eat that. That's not that good. Boring. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some umami up in here. <laughs> Slice up umami some <laughs> mushkies. Take the mushrooms. It's going to chop the mushrooms up. Now, if you cook with just rice and water, you're just going to have rice that tastes like pretty much nothing. But if you take mushrooms and garlic and coconut milk, you're gonna make delicious flavorful rice that you can eat by itself and it's going to be incredible. So what I do, normally rice is two cups water to one cup rice, but in this case, we're gonna do about one cup of water, one cup of coconut milk, maybe a little bit more water. Put the rice in here, cook it all together. The mushrooms are gonna release all of their liquidy juices into the rice. That's gonna soak up. All right, so I'm gonna take maybe, you know, the thing about rice is people are like, oh, it needs to be this ratio, that ratio but you kind of just develop a feel for it. You put some rice in, you put a little bit more water in, and if you need to add more at the end, that is okay. Nobody cares. More water at the end. Yeah, if you need to add a little more water, you know, it's okay. All I do is I take my rice, I got about a cup and a half or so in here, pour in some water, and pour in some canned coconut milk. Salt the rice, because the rice is good. Whoa, Jesus balls. Pepper the rice. And then, of course, mushroom. The rest, the rest. I've never done the mushrooms in the straight Oh, you will water. see, you'll see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be cutting up the cheese and putting it in once it's done and get it all melty. That so the coconut good. just that helps it. Oh, it's not, could be good. It is yeah. damn good, it's damn good. So with rice, what you do is you bring it up to a boil, then you turn it on low and you cover it and you just let it sit. Stuff comes up to a boil, take your lid, I don't even have the right size lid, but that is okay. Oh, Jesus, you gotta have the right size lid somewhere. I don't know where it went. Turn it down, every once in a while you can check it, but the best thing to do is to keep the moisture and all the heat stuff in there. The magical mystery rice has finished. Mike, I want you to chop up some cilantro, just like that. Pop it in there, look at how it goes. Mix that around, it just adds, okay. it adds beauty, it adds freshness. It adds beauty and freshness. L'Oreal. Now, Mike, the cheese needs to go in. So, oh. if you want to just, I'll show you actually what we're going to do here. What I like to do for this cheese is give it slice, slice. Why don't you just grate it? No grating here. I like it actually kind of chunky. I like putting it, kind of make it into little blocks. And then you get these yeah, pieces. I got, the, I got the point. You know what I'm saying? I got the point. Just do it. I'm just going to do it. Screw you, buddy. I know you kind of know how to cut stuff, but you're not the only brother that knows how to cut. Yeah, so I like to actually put it in these little 
uh, cubes, I guess you could call them. So what happens with the cheese is instead of the rice, you know, just fully melting like a shredded cheese and it's just being cheesy, this actually gives you these little pockets. So as you're eating, you bite into cheese and it's kind of melty, kind of warm, but it's not just, you know, one with the rice. It's got its own identity and this cheese is so good, you want it to have its own identity. So now you just mix this around and the heat in the pan is not even on. It's just gonna help the cheese melt a little bit. And while we leave that there, we're gonna do something else. This is just kind of like a fun dinner. It's a little more than like a quick five minute meal, but it doesn't take long. A lot of little components and this stuff will stay for a long time. The cheesy rice, you eat that by yourself. Throw some eggs on there, incredible for breakfast. You can't lose. All right, a little bit of oil in there. Now remember that chicken thigh, Mr. Chicken Thigh we cut up? He's in little pieces, so he's gonna cook fast. Yeah. Sizzle me timbers. Sizzle me timbers. Okay, Mike, while that's happening, we need the guac. These are those big, big Haas avocados. This is literally the world's quickest guac ever. You're taking the avocado and you're just scooping it right out. Oh yeah. And then while Mike's doing that, peel the ginger. All you do is take the back of a spoon and just take the ginger and give it a whimmity whammity, slippity slamity. And the ginger, you don't want to grade this. You actually want the ginger guacamole to be nice and peaceful. So you chop it up really well, but what you want is to have like these little tiny pieces so when you're biting into it, you get little bursts of ginger. And everyone's just mixing and matching and forgetting about stuff, but each thing needs its own experience. Give this chicken a little whoops, a little chip. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Here, yeah, it's not in the kitchen, it's good. Not in here. Throw the ginger in there, Mike. A little lime juice. La 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 Salt and pepper. Look at this huge spoon I got. It's like the longest spoon. You could eat from like across the room. Like, ah, across the room and I'm eating. Let's see. Whoa. That is some intense guacamole. I like it. Look at what we have here. Little bowls, personal bowls. You can put everything in here. You can eat them like this. You can eat them like that. All right, chicken is done. It smells incredible. All right, everything is officially coming together. Mike, you take one of these bolskis. Now the first thing that goes in is a lovely. Oh, look nice. at the cheese just running through there, the little clusters. So, what is it with cilantro and rice that just looks so good? The cheese land cheese in there, coco. There are a few cheeses that you eat that really like screw you up so much because they're so good. You're like, what? This is the one cheese that impresses more people than any other cheese of its nature. Take just a little bit of that chicken, and by a little bit I mean as much yeah. as you can humanly fit on top. This is just like a great little dinner, wouldn't you say? So the way that I like to eat it is just like this. You just get it, oh my god. But the way you can... I like to eat it is like this. How trippy is that cheese in there? Oh my god. You can break off pieces and scoop. You can cook a fork. You bring this same dish in a regular bowl out to your friends, you're like, wow, that looks pretty good. You come out with these things, it's like, what the hell? There's no cleanup? I don't even have to throw out stuff because I'm gonna eat no it. No cleanup except all the mess you spill all over the mm. place. I'm eating it. 